Someone like you, for instance. Thanks a lot. We keep tossing insults at each other as we walk through the dark alley. And then a van pops up. <laughs> Excuse me for just a sec. He moves a few steps away and pulls out his phone. I apologize that this is like cut into the middle of it. Here he goes. Whenever I'm on and makes a call, he has a habit of stepping away from people around him. Especially if it's a questionable topic. I guess he doesn't want others to overhear. But my ears are pretty sharp, so I still manage to hear most of what he's talking about. Hey, it's me. Gather all you can about a journalist named Nao Masaban. Criminal record, family debt, hobbies, kinks, everything. Make it quick. Did you say kinks? Thanks for waiting. What are you planning? You heard me then. I forget how good your ears are. Just preparing for our little talk. Knowledge of the opponent is a basic tenet of negotiation. And it is negotiation, right? Not intimidation? His list sounds more like a search for a weakness. <laughs> That's funny. Pretty rich coming from you. His grin is pleasant and mild, like usual. He looks like a picture-perfect popular guy, but he hides a demon inside. Guess I'll let the Prince of Threats do his thing. That is such a lovely name though, isn't it? Prince of Threats. That guy will t learn the truth of his own article personally. It serves him right though. You don't call someone out like that, like in the middle, like after you've caught them being sneaky and then so you have photo evidence and then say that you were the writer of this article. By the way, that journalist said something strange before he left. Something about gather information on spirits? Now that he mentioned it, we don't actually know anything about the Urashima woman. But what are we supposed to investigate? Her s not her source, because we know her source. Not her weakness, her secret? Yeah. Everything would be so easy if we can find that out. Hazuki mentioned something. That the source is related to the reason a dead person becomes the spirit. If, if that was what you saw in your blood metry vision, then maybe we need to look into other incidents that have happened at Yamato Shrine. Oh, it's Mr. Seiji and Shiba! Out of the convenience store pops Murahashi. It's a good thing I stopped the last part when I did, because this is just going on forever. He's carrying a bag of fried food. Guess he's getting a midnight snack. Oh my god, I would love to eat something fried right now. Maruhashi. Perfect timing. You can look into this. Oh, there's something I can help you with? That is Master Stagey to you! Can I help you with anything? Look into all incidents that happened at Yamato Shrine. You have until tomorrow night, understood? Ah, tomorrow night! This kind of a uh, rush! <laughs> is it? Are you saying you're complaining about an order I've given you? Oh, by the way, I don't think you paid last month's membership dues. There's a fee? That's, uh... Well, my father is a busy man. I'm sure he hasn't noticed yet. I could let him know. Oh! Oh! Ah! Mr. Seiji! Have mercy, please! Keep it a secret from the boss and the superiors for my sake! I'll do whatever you say, please! I beg of you! <laughs> well, that depends on your work performance. So I'll leave this job up to you. Alright, big buddy, old pal. 
Yes, sir! Whatever you ask, sir, I'll work harder on it than anything I've ever done in my life. You can count on me, Shiba. <laughs> oh. What a nice, charming smile. He's thanking you, Marohashi. That was your chance to make up for the trouble you caused him. That's pretty much what the smile was for. Like, I I was in on this blackmail. Not, I wasn't exactly in because I didn't know that he had... There was, one, a fee to be in the gang. Um, but I also didn't know, like... Whatever, you get what I'm saying. I was using the, the knowledge that he had fucked with me before to... I won't let you down, I swear! Alright, I have some things I need in the store, so let's part here. Maruhashi, you come with me. You'll carry my bags. Yes, sir! It would be my honor to join you. Please pardon me, Shiba. Ah, I like that. I'll watch the two of them enter the store and then begin walking toward my apartment. Ugh, I don't know what it is about this apartment complex. It's just... It just rings spooky. Today was exhausting. I should hurry and go to my room. Oh! What the fuck is that? Like, it's clearly an imprint of someone. Is... Is that the Urashima woman? Because the stomach is, like, round. Hmm? What's that? What's this stain? Kind of looks like a person. That's exactly what it looks like. When I touch this, uh, when I touch the stain on the door, I realize it's mud. Ew. <laughs> what a half-assed prank. It's a pain, but I'll have to clean it later. I'll just leave it for now. Who, who would prank you? Oh. Oh God. <laughs> That's even worse. It's on the shower door! Huh? And they left a horrible trail. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there's only one footprint. Okay. I thought there was two, and then that line dragging. When I step inside, the floor is covered in stains like the ones I saw earlier. Crouching down to look closer, they look kind of like footprints. What the hell is this? And why does it stink like sewage? That's so disgusting. Okay, I'm not... Could it be? I'm not gonna lie, that looks like someone pressed up against the, you know, the wall for uh, sexy fun time. The thing I saw at the lake. Open the door to the bathroom? Probably not. But I can't not check. I move slowly toward the door to open it. A strange chilling pressure like an icy breeze seems to be coming from it. You know what you could have done? You could have called uh, Hazuki. Told her to like rush over. Decision made, I reached my hand out to grab the knob. I didn't decide this, you did. It's me, you in there? Open the door. Thank you, Seiji! Oh, yeah. Open the door and Amaname steps inside. Sorry for coming by after we just parted. I found something interesting, so I came all the way back. He hands me a strange drink can. They had it at the convenience store. Thought I'd be remiss by not showing it to you, too. Look, Tomato Baron of the Night. Isn't that the dumbest name you've ever heard? Huh? What's wrong? You look put out. Whoa, wait, what happened in here? The front door, this room, it's all covered in mud. Well, I tell him what happened after I came back. <laughs> oh, the poor boy! He's afraid of ghosts! I know how you feel, Seiji. I see. So, the Urashima woman is in your bathroom? Is that what you're saying? If I really heard that voice, then yeah! Okay, nothing to it but to go inside and check it out together. 
After you, of course. I was going to check it before you showed up. Alright, I'm going in. Ready when you are. I open the door and step inside. Well, it's clean. The light clicks on and the bathroom looks normal. No trace of that chilling presence I felt earlier when I got close to the door. Now look, you got me riled up for nothing. You sure you weren't dreaming? No, I'm sure I heard a strange voice. And what about the mud? So I wonder if I would have died immediately had I just said, let's open the door, because Seiji wouldn't have rung the doorbell yet. Okay, yes, look, they look like footprints, and sure, there's a person-shaped mark on the door. I'm loath to even consider this, but maybe this is what people call being haunted? That was my guess, too. The Urashima woman seems water-focused, so maybe she can appear in similar places. Bathrooms, water pipes, sewer drains outside, manholes, things like that. Hey, don't joke around. Well, it looks like she's not here anymore. <laughs> Why do you think that? Why? No reason. I mean, she's a ghost. Besides, if she was... If, if she was here, she would have attacked us by now. That aside, we should probably clean up. You don't want to sleep in such a mess, do you? He's such a good friend to help me clean all of that as well. The two of us spend about an hour cleaning the apartment of mud. Now that that's done, I'm going to head back. I feel like I'll break out into goosebumps the longer I'm here. Hey, cut that out! <laughs> See you later. Amaname turns and leaves. Once he's gone, I collapse out of my bed. I was about to open the curtains. I'll shower in the morning. Don't really want to get near the bathroom until the sun's up. Maybe I'll leave this light on, too. I wonder if this means the Urashima woman followed me home. That college girl who died a few days after... She threw a rock in the lake. Maybe what's happening to me is what happened to her. The longer I stay awake, the more my thoughts go into a downward spiral. Ooh, that rabbit hole. Better not think about it. I quickly close my eyes and try to go to sleep. There's no way I can fall asleep that fast. Starting with the dirty water, strange things have been occurring in my apartment. Plus, there's this creepy sensation like I'm not the only one here. Ooh, that's a terrible feeling. Seems impossible that I'll be able to conk out, but my body is tired down to my bones. My what? My what? It it just went on without me. Consciousness, I guess, slowly starts fading. I'm glad we finally got the freaking save. We like we we just we we would have started and. It's been like 15 minutes <laughs> already. That's ridiculous. Ah! Spirit file Urashima Woman has been updated. Okay. Urashima Woman r rumor notes 3. Bloodmetry success! Saw the Urashima Woman. Saw a trap person also. Was it a murder? I th it had to have been. I have to put this book in too. What does she mean? Had an encounter with the Urashima woman. Baby, tell me. What does she want to know? Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> August 2nd. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. I kind of miss the aunt. The than usual. Oh, Tatsuya, don't look at me with eyes. Aunt Natsumi is here. She looks even more tired than she did two days ago. She pro she's probably not sleeping. And she's probably also not eating. I'm sorry. We haven't had much time to talk. I've just been so worried about Ami. No, it's fine. 
Did you find out anything? Nothing. Nothing at all. The case moved to public investigation, but they still don't have any good leads. One female detective seems sympathetic, so at least there's that. I see. Kakuya really did take her? Then there's no point to the cops running around. I'm the only one who can do something about this. And I need to deal with the business with the Urashima woman first. Oh yeah, Aunt Natsumi writes horror novels. Maybe I can ask her, I've gotta try everything for Ami. What is it? Do you have a minute right now? Yes, I have a little time. I do have to leave soon though. Have you ever heard of the Urashima woman? Isn't that the ghost that people say appears at Yamato Shrine? I'm surprised to hear you're interested in that sort of thing. An occult uh, enthusiast, I know, has been telling me some things. Anything you know would be great. Let me see. One moment. Anatomy makes her way to the bookshelves in the back and pulls out a single notebook. That must be what she uses to compile the info she gathers. Okay, hmm, let's see. She studies the pages briefly before returning the notebook to the shelf. Sorry about that. I don't know many details as I don't use urban legends often in my books, but... It originated from the Kisoji pregnant woman murder that happened two years ago. Oh. So it was a murder. Which we knew. The Kisoji pregnant woman murder. That was the case where a pregnant woman was killed by her What? The midwife? Apparently the midwife wasn't able to conceive no matter what she tried. It caused her a lot of anguish and she completely fell apart over it until finally... She killed the pregnant woman after she gave birth and stole the woman's baby. <clears throat> she filled a suitcase with the corpse other evidence, and lots of rocks. And threw it into Urashima Lake. The midwife was arrested a few days later. Exactly as she confessed, they found a suitcase in Urashima Lake, but... They claim it was empty inside. Oh my god. No corpse, no evidence, no rocks, nothing. That murder must have been... Oh, sorry. That murder must have been how the rumor of the Urashima woman started. But she's real. You don't look so good, Tatsuya. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What I saw through blemetry matches the Kisoji pregnant woman murder. I bet the woman wasn't completely dead, so she woke up inside the suitcase. And she saw the Tamate Sanctum. Alright. I need to be heading off now. Tatsuya. Let me and the police handle searching for Ami. Don't go doing anything reckless, okay? Well, you are too late. <laughs> She looked at me she looks at me sternly before she turns and leaves the bar. Her intuition's too good. She must have sensed something in my voice. Or maybe it's a mother's intuition since she's legally my mom now. Well, she's also a mother, so I don't feel like going back home. May as well stay here until we're supposed to meet. It wouldn't hurt to clean the place of dust while I'm here. I owe Aunt Natsumi that much at least. For I know it, night falls. It's not even morning. The shoot today took longer than I expected. 
Oh, something smells good. I just brewed some espresso, but ooh, coffee. I want some. Yes, please. I'd like a cappuccino. I don't serve anything that's a pain to make. Wow, you're a horrible barista. <laughs> I went to the trouble of finding info on the Urashima woman. You could at least serve me. I bet you'll be horrified when you hear about the incident that happened at the lake two years ago. The Kisoji pregnant woman murder, right? Oh. Are you an, an esper? I love how they call it that. Of course not. I heard it from Aunt Natsumi. Ah, then I can cut to the chase. I wonder if the woman who died turned into the Urashima woman. Maybe. She was killed after her kid was taken from her. That's why she was asking about the child, because she she's still pregnant because she had just given birth. Like, she still had the look of pregnancy because she had just given birth. But the baby wasn't there anymore. That's why when I said, when I pointed at the, her stomach, she's like, why the stomach? Because the baby isn't there anymore. And I think she knows it internally. It makes sense for her to turn into a ghost. True. I'd become a spirit too if that happened to me. By the way, whatever happened to the kid that was taken by the midwife? I, I don't know. I'm not even sure if the child is alive or dead. The news at the time censored his name to Boy T. I guess we can't use that as a lead. Looks like I got a text from Amatame. Well, technically you could use that as a lead. Are you kidding me? Amatame can't make it today. What? Is he cursed and getting into an accident? No, it's not that. He apparently suddenly got work because he needs to business, sorry, work business he needs to take care of. Um, and by work, does he mean, like, raids, extortion, things like that? Don't ask me. Well, there's no point in waiting, then. We can head to Yamato Shrine by ourselves. Yeah, let's go. Oh, by the way, thanks for the coffee. It was ten times better than the stuff my manager brews. Wow, that's good. Gee, thanks. Hey, Shiba. You wouldn't happen to be interested in being Momo Kurose's personal barista, would you? If I give her this smile, I want. I wish it would be like like a a sarcastic smile. Wait, you're actually considering it? <laughs> Hazuki and I leave the bar and take the usual path toward Yamato Shrine. This is the third time we've come to the shrine's main entrance. Now, how should we get in? The plan from yesterday won't work with just the two of us. Hmm, you're right. We might be able to do it if it's the same Momo fan security guard as last time. Or we can force our way through the gate. Let's just look around some. Okay, I want to I want to save Actually, in fact, I'm going to end it here. I know it's a little short, a little early, but I don't want to risk going over time again. So I'm going to end it here. I'm going to end it here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.